Hello all, welcome to another week, another wash hour. My name is Nicole. I started the 30 day hair detox in January of 2021. And so the purpose of my videos is to continue to document my progress of applying simple hair care techniques to my hair long-term and how my hair is flourishing as a result. It's been almost a year since I started the 30 day hair detox for me. And my hair is doing really well. I'm excited about the progress I've made, about the progress to come. And so if you're interested in learning or seeing the practical application of simple hair care techniques long-term, this is the channel for you. So I simple, mainly like three steps, right? Three, the big steps. You know how when you do an outline in school, you have like your main idea, like big A, big C, child, big A, big B, big C, but then you have like A and then you go space, 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 and you got a one, two, and three, like the sub points under there. So think of it that way. It's like cleanse, condition, and style are like the capital letters. And then of course, within those capital letters, there can be a little bit of nuance and some more details. So cleanse, right? That can be broad with shampoo. That could be like my number one point while starting to finger detangle. Condition would be my B point and that would be the same, you know, apply conditioner and plenty of water and detangling comes under the conditioning portion. And then styling, that can be like a bunch of different things. However, I want to style my hair, twist out, wash and go, uh, braids, flat twist, individual twists, mini twists. The styling part is up to me and how I like to wear my hair. So I have learned over this past year how to get good at wash and goes, which is something I have never known how to do or seen anyone show me how to do it until I ran across the I Am Black Girl Curls page. So now that I know how to do wash and goes, it's my simplest way to style my hair every week. So most weeks I do wash and goes. So I'm gonna go cleanse my hair with shampoo in the shower cause I can get plenty of water in and on my hair quickly, condition it at my base gel and then I'm gonna come back out here and style it, raking it and smoothing it and stuff for you and then talking to you through the process. And then I will document for you how my hair does every day of the week. So you can see in real life, how is my style holding up? And believe it or not, well, you know what? Don't believe it or not. Just keep watching and see how it turns out, all right? Welcome if it's your first time here. Welcome back if you're a frequent subscriber. I appreciate all of you. Um, at this point, if you found anything useful or interesting in this video, if anything made you smile, if anything made you think, then please do me the courtesy of clicking the subscribe button. You only have to do it one time. And I appreciate you extending that effort to do that, to support this channel and to tell YouTube that you would like to see more videos like this that promote uh, simple natural hair care. So I will see you when I get back from cleansing, conditioning, right? And then adding that base gel to start the styling process. All right, I'm back from cleansing, conditioning, detangling, and applying my base gel. I, lots of water here, y'all. I uh, wanna take this time though to thank those of you who took the little break, even though it was a couple seconds to hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you. So now I'm going to apply my first topper gel, right? So I do, no, let me back up. So I, when I shampooed my hair and conditioned today, I just used my all-purpose shampoo because I exercised twice on the previous set. I um, sweated in my sleep quite a few times last week. I also, um, let's see, what was the first thing I said? Oh. I got it. I applied a, an additional topper gel, you know, the mop top. So I wanted to make sure my hair got like extra clean. 
and so I did two rounds of my all-purpose shampoo uh, if you have questions right about the video please check the description box below before asking the question because it may have already been answered in the description box where is the description box uh, well on my iPhone if you let me see if I can do it show you Nope. Right, let's save. So, if you can see on this video, right, and where's the title, and there's that little arrow thing right there, you click it. And then some things come up at the bottom of the description box. And then it says more. And you click it. And then it gives you more, more information down there. Yeah. So, how about? So, that's how you get to the description box. I mean, I don't take for granted that people automatically know how to find things, okay? We all have different, like, things we're good at. Different things that occupy our minds. And some things don't just, like, click right away. So, when I say look at the description box, that's what I mean. Like, that little arrow, click it down. It's a lot more information under there about my stylist, about how to, where I learned this simple hair care from, I am Black Girl Curls, um, some of the uh, tools and things I use. So I've taken time to put it there because um, one, I may not remember off the top of my head, right? So um, don't get offended if I say, hey, that's in the description box because I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know I put it in the description box so you guys can you know freely have access to that so thanks for checking that and then you know hopefully that'll answer most of your questions i also wanted to address this i ate a couple of snickers night before last and the next morning right i had this so i'm guessing something in the snickers broke me out yeah so i'm trying to drink water and stuff i mean i know you can't can't go backward this is the previous something too i gotta be careful if i eat high quality like dark chocolate like i just someone gifted me a, um was it a ghirardelli it was a toffee and almond uh chocolate bar and it was so delicious and it was exactly the kind of thing i love and i ate plenty of that no breakouts eat a snickers bar boop, boop. so gotta get it. my body's like what you think you're doing it tasted good though, but it didn't treat me good. Okay, but back to my hair. So, <laughs> um, I like to section my hair into four sections. Oh, you know what I realized, but I haven't done yet, you all, about my mop top is I could find like my own generic pump bottle and Put, pour it in there and then have a pump for it but I like having a jar I mean I might do that but I like having a jar in its original packaging too so I'm thinking about yeah, getting a generic since I've decided I'm going to use it more often pump bottle to put my mop top in What's another high quality chocolate brand? Because I didn't ate the bar. It was so good. I want to get it again. Pretty sure it's Ghirardelli. I told have y'all so I went to Belgium, right? For an, uh, an international convention of Jehovah's Witnesses uh in 2000, I think, 15. And that's the I haven't had everybody's chocolate. That is the best chocolate I have ever had. And I'm going to look it up because I took a picture of what, what it was the most. I've never tasted chocolate like that. You know, melting your mouth. Just, you know, delicious, not waxy. 
it was just some really good chocolate. I'm gonna have to look that up so to tell y'all what brand that was and which ones were my favorite because that went to you know had authentic Belgian waffles, um, which are not like the Belgian waffles we have here. Here they're like fluffier, more like pancakes. Over there they're like flatter. They're sweet, but they're a different kind of sweet. So it was a very nice, nice experience. But the main thing I remember from there, the chocolate was amazing. So when you hear about Belgian chocolate, I'm gonna find the company and let y'all know. Cause that, that, was, that was some good chocolate. I need to just order some. I don't know if they'll still send it during the pandemic, you know, from Belgium, but I'm sure. I, at the time I looked to see if I could find like some local suppliers. <laughs> But that, that chocolate, that brand that I had, it wasn't local. This is the Mop Top, which is my second topper gel. So I do a base gel and two topper gels. And for me, I know if I have enough product in my hair for easy, I just stand it up on its own. That's how I know. And I'm just applying it right now, right? So I will distribute it in a moment. Right now I'm just getting the products on my hair. And then I will go back through and get them through my hair. All right, now papaya slip, which is not a gel. But an anti, it's a call it a taming portion, but it's an anti humidity, anti frizz product. It says it has hold in it, but that's not why I use it. I use it for that. Y'all saw Dasha is 90% humidity. I need it. Anti humidity, anti. I, li I basically live on the water, you know, here on the Gulf Coast, so I've resolved. Okay, now I've got that all in my hair and I'm going to distribute it. But I've resigned that I, I, my hair needs it for the way I want it to do and last. And that's fine. What I don't like, as I mentioned before, is that Trevor Door has a 35% off sale when they know this is sold out. And they know I'm not going to buy anything else but papaya slip. So I would like to get like a retroactive coupon for when they restock it. But I know I'm just going to end up having to pay full price. Which is fine. I've had this like, I don't know, over six months I've had this bottle. And I use it every week. So, it's lasting. So, if I have to pay, I don't even know if I need the big bottle. Right? Because this is the little bottle. And it's lasting me as long as it's lasting. So, I may not even need the bigger bottle. Even when it comes out, I thought, oh, I need to get the big bottle. But that could just mean once you open the big bottle, right, the expiration, you know, clock starts ticking. So I might do better to get the little bottle because it's lasting so long. You know, every six months or get two little bottles instead of one big bottle. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just thinking to y'all out loud. And as I'm going through my hair, I'm still like doing some detangling not to remove dead hair but just because my hair is tight coily right it wants to coil i've been shampooing it conditioning it adding products so i'm just kind of starting it on the path to align it for when i rake and smooth it so i can set my hair up for the best wash and go possible i appreciate too that after um, doing this I'm like 10 days shy of a year and I count from when I, I can find in my phone like the first pictures of me documenting my hair journey was like January the 15th so I appreciate that I have more confident I know more about the basics which is still knowing a lot and so I have more confidence in talking about my hair and doing my hair and talking to you about what I'm doing to, to my hair and why. And so that's really awesome too, is the effort that the ladies, Elise and Aisha put into educating um, us about 
our natural hair if we want to have simpler hair care practices. If you want to get, you know, definition in your hair and have options to wear your hair um, in a washing go center in the dryer if you want to. So I do appreciate all of their efforts. All right. So I like to do this until, see how I'm kind of going through and not hitting as many little snaggle parts. It's also, I'm like two weeks out for my, less than two weeks out for my maintenance cut. So I can expect that my hair is gonna be a little bit more snaggly because my ends need a trim. So now that I know that, just be more, be gentler with my hair. Don't try to rush it. Don't try to, you know, yank my fingers through it, but pull it apart is a lot better way to handle the snags. And then it makes less like knots that you may have to cut out because you, you know, went through your hair too fast. Instead of just, I just thought if I like this, I could like, ah, no, let's just pull it apart like that let's just start over another one let's start over okay see much better i'm not stressed out i'm not stressing right unduly pulling on my hair and so we're getting along we're getting along all right that is distributed right you see we're setting our hair up for a good set i'm so excited because I know what I'm doing and why and what works for my hair. And so I'm really, I'm really excited about that after a year, almost, let's just say a year. It's January. Yeah. And I'm also excited, like I've been able to wash my niece's hair fairly often and teaching her, um, she's eight, she'll be nine soon, um, to that her hair can curl that her hair can shake. Her hair is denser than mine. Her hair is coarser than mine. Let me show you something. I took a picture last time I did her hair. Um, Cause one, she's a little kid, right? You know, little kids, you can't tell them, baby, don't roll all around on your head. Like I'm trying to slowly teach her, you know, your hairstyle ain't just, hey, don't do that. If you want your hair to be shaking it out, you can't just be rolling all over your head, friend. She's like, oh, okay. But this is her hair, right? It's a little girl under here somewhere. This is after. This is after. Cleansing, conditioning. I applied a heat protectant to her hair, and then I blew it out. You see all that hair? Yeah. After I blew it out. Right, so that's what we're working with. Let me see if I find another picture of her fro in all its glory, like right when we had just taken it down, cause her hair is beautiful. I tell her that like all the time, like you got that beautiful thick hair, we're gonna learn how to take care of it. So I make sure when I'm washing her hair, conditioning it, that I talk her through and she's you're using one shampoo or two, why are you using that? And I'm happy that I can answer her questions about it. See all that beautiful hair she got? She watching TV, so cute. So that's pre it, you see, before and after, right? And then this is, I think on that part, and that was another time I did her hair. And then I had, this is when I had actually like flat ironed it a little bit just to see what would happen. This is, uh, whew, hair, all right? But she's learned how to, you know, maintain it and take care of it at a young age. So then when she grows up, as she grows up, then she'll carry on those healthy hair care practices. Maybe be able to help a friend if they want help, you know. So I still encourage you to just be patient with your hair, to find joy in what your hair will do, right? Even if it's like, did you wet it with water, right? Did it get wet? All right, well, great. That's step one, right? Let's 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 rejoice in the little things and the big things, okay? 
there are plenty of things in this world to stress us out. Please, let's, let's enjoy the hair though. All right. I'm a, every week I'm looking forward to some days I'm like, I might do it, go an extra day for you guys. But I'm like, ooh, let's reset this hair because I know what I'm doing. I know how it's going to work out. Okay. I'm like, let's, let's reset it again. So I'm going to start, I start here, 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 here. So today I want to go quicker, but not quicker. Cause on the, I think on the last video, right? I showed you like breaking and smoothing the whole time. Cause I want to talk to y'all. But today I'm just going to do focus on here. And then I will just show you the detailed uh, raking and smoothing, smoothing, not smoothing, smoothing when I get up here where you can see it more but there are plenty of prior videos i've started numbering my videos to make it easier that if you all ask a question and i know i've addressed it in a video i will try to like tell you what's the number so you can like see the whole context right behind said thing so thanks and i'll see you in a little while all right the back is all done and you can even see like the differences in the length just gotta let it keep growing and it'll it'll catch up it's gonna take time but i looked up what i mentioned to you about the chocolate so i found a picture don't ask me where i was we were somewhere in like a square in get belgium so that's my belgian waffle with my ice cream on top that's my convention badge hubby took this picture it was in 2015 and so that's me and my Belgian waffle. And then I found the chocolate. So I took a picture of like all the chocolate we bought. And then when I came back home, I was sad because I wish I had got more of this chocolate. Okay. So I took a picture of like all the chocolate I got right. But if you can see these bars right here, these four, cachet. Those were the best ones. And if I had no, I was just buying it like, I was like, let me get a bunch of different kinds of chocolate we went to the store. And I, if I had known then, and the little ones with the lady on it, those are pretty good too. I think the friends gave us those like as a gift. But that, so the Colt Dior with the macadamia nuts in it, that would be my third one. So the main ones, the cachet. This is what says it's a milk chocolate with the lady on it. We we went to a store named Leonidas and got like hand picked some chocolate. But those are my my favorite chocolates. Chocolate, not the lint. I got it on here, but the cachet. So I need to look into that more now to see if it's more readily available here in the states. Because to my American taste buds, that's that's the best chocolate I ever had. So I might revisit that. I was sad when I ate like the last piece of my last bar. But then I'm like, well, what are you going to save it for? Because if you don't eat it, it's going to go bad. And that's a waste of the best chocolate you ever had. So I ate it all. And then I guess I gave up on looking to see if I get it. But now in talking to you about the chocolate, it's reawakened that, hey, let me go see if I can find that chocolate. Bring a little more happiness to my life during this pandemic, okay? And if y'all watch this and y'all have had cachet before that's how i pronounce it i don't know how they pronounce it over there and if you know where i can get it here in the u.s you know let me know i appreciate you all right it's pretty good not many staglies even though it's been sitting up on top of itself did that so let me go ahead and part part my hair and in that picture y'all I had my short I don't know if you call that the Halle Berry my sister that's a cosmetologist she had cut my hair I had shown her some pictures and like the cutest short haircut high maintenance though like I had to go I was getting my hair cut touched up like every what two weeks or every month you know because I wanted to stay in that cut so any growth I like around the sides I'm like cut it off but just let the top grow 
and then she colored it it was like a copper red that was like whenever i see those pictures it makes me want to cut my hair again it was i cut it short but it wasn't a haircut you know a hairdo that even if i didn't do it it was done and i really loved that haircut that she did on me and even when i see some naturals with their hair like cut and grow it makes me think I but no, I know I don't want to. I li I'm liking um, growing my hair out healthy right now and seeing where that goes. So we're gonna stick with this. But I can I can remember when. Yep, first I got the cut just so and then I was like, all right, now I need some color. And then we started to do some rinses. And my hair never fell out or anything from the color because I had a professional color my hair and so color her color my hair did it, it really well Mainly the first uh, hair page that I watched of a stylist who was a cut it kinky uh, specialist was at Earnestly Natural on Instagram. And I would see how she was like putting people's hair in a stain and raking it smooth and even shampooing and how foamy it would get and how just how she was going through the hair. And I was like, my hair could never. But in the back of my mind, I was like, I hope it could though. And I said, well, even if it can't do that, right, because that's like, you know, the top tier. I'm like, it could, even something, if I can do like half that good, I'll be doing better than where I was. And now when I go through my hair, I'm like, the things I thought my hair could never, it's doing it and doing well. So let's be, that's why I encourage y'all to be positive about your hair experience. I don't like um, when I hear people say, you know, certain hair, um, like if you're doing a type in, like 4C hair can't do, you know, X, Y, Z, and I've seen it can, but then how, how do I do that? So that's why I'm, another thing, I'm, I thought that too. Well, my hair won't be able to do that, but I would be able to maybe just get some kind of definition with what my hair can do and then i watched her do head after head and then you know how we're always looking for somebody hair that looks kind of you know as close to ours as possible for me to be convinced that okay that could maybe work on my hair so if i see all kinds of curls all kinds of ages all kinds of colors all kinds of lengths and they're all getting definition then that made me more hopeful like okay i can get some definition it won't be the professional level hairstylist experience, but it'll be something I can do at home. And now I'm to the point where my set, which it should be, because I'm doing my hair every week, right? My stylist don't do my hair every three months. My set is, it's up there for my hair. Now let me try to do somebody else's hair. It could be a hot mess, right? But as far as me doing my own hair, yeah, I've got my set. 
down pat down pat should do so even when you've seen in the videos where i've tried foam and things like that it started out really well because my technique has improved right so the initial set you know is great but then the longevity of the style that's another story so for my longevity i need it gel my anti-humidity anti-frizz to you know hold hold these curls down into place that's just like a little short cute curly spot i'm just gonna slip that down it's all right so when i say i need i create hold it, it is holding you see it you, you saw my hair before I styled it. You see how it, I cre it is holding these curls down. And then as, you know, the water evaporates, as it gets friction on this stuff as I go about the week, of course, that's going to be, that's going to dissipate. But make the difference in your style lasting zero days and lasting, you know, six, seven, eight days. So I used to be so excited. Like day three, I had any kind of little definition in my hair, thinking I was killing the game. And I was, compared to myself, right? But not, you know, on the broad spectrum. Now I can compare my hair to like more broad spectrum and I can, I can say, yeah, I still am. Doing pretty good. So just keep swimming, just keep making progress, just keep being positive. Keep seeking, you know, information from reputable sources. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that right now. For real, for real, uh, I've been really thinking about, and I hope she has it, my sister that went to cosmetology. I don't know. Why am I whispering? Ain't nobody here. My sister that went to cosmetology school, right? I wanted to ask her, does she still have her textbook because i want to look at it to see like what's in there about like how does it explain about the hair cuticle and what shampoo does like what is what does it say that's what i want to see so i'm wondering if she have it and if she has it i'm gonna i want to read it and if i read it i might share with y'all what i learned from that you know educational standpoint from that basic you know cosmetology school education I got hair on. Sorry, y'all. Look. Nope. This hair be everywhere. This part yeah, has made so much progress. I gotta look back at my, I gotta look back at my previous video to see where I started, cause I know it wasn't here. So look at my length retention. You know, we're growing this part out. down here and that will be a mission accomplished. Warming, warming it up, moving it around. It's been sitting a while on top of itself. It could be, you know, just a little tangly. So I'm just moving it around. Especially in this part. It's a little coarse, short, weird part.
it's amazing how this is like thicker, more more dense and coarser feeling than this part. And they're like right next to each other, but they got different things going on. So you might just have to spend a little more time, give it more TLC. I know the more difficult parts of your hair, you could get frustrated and just, ugh. You know just focus on the ones that are in your mind doing better but i think the parts that are more difficult you should give those more tlc to help them help them get along get along like the rest of your hair so i might take 10 swipes for this one and two for this one okay See that? That was like three. I didn't count how many that was. I was just focused on how my hair was feeling as I was moving my hands through it. But y'all tell me how, how many swipes did it take for this little section versus this one? Remember, go from your root. Don't be scared to get those roots to the ends when you're raking and smoothing. And if you have to use a tool, you know, my tool, I mean my detangler brush, then start at your ends, right? Ends to roots, not roots to ends. You setting yourself up for some trials and tribulations if you try to just start out at the roots especially if you know the section is going to be a little tangly work your way up oh see that brush and help i'm not having as many snaggles right there also if you feel yourself getting frustrated with just using your fingers to you know go through your hair and then get a tool just to make it a little easier make it a little less stressful it is okay yay 
day. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use the brush for this section too, cause like, my arms are like pre-sore from working out. I'm just saying. And so I'm just gonna use the help to get through this a little more quickly. Quickly, I'm just playing, quickly. It's either quicker or more quickly, right? Or is it quicker or quickly? More quicker, most quickly. For my English majors. Shift that hair back out of the way. Do this section. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Is doing great with the all-purpose poo, right? It's like I'm so fresh, so super duper clean. That section's a little big. Don't get um lazy just because it's this top part. And you're like, oh, let me hurry up and finish it. Still try your best if you're like me and need the smaller sections to keep your sections consistent. Because even when like, let's say you break, when I used to braid my own hair and you got like that last little part and you're like, oh, I could just make this three bigger braids. But it's like, no, make it, go ahead and split it into two or three parts to keep the consistency. And then you're glad you did because it looks amazing. Not even worried about what happens after I come out of the dryer. I'm just so happy with how this breaking and smoothing is going. to sit under my dryer for hot under my hooded hair dryer on high heat for at least one hour and what I've been doing lately is about halfway through 30 minutes through and it's kind of like very dry on the outside I start like doing it like this to open it up so the air can flow better through my curls and get drier right under the dryer and then less work to do with the diffuser after. Cause I do have, I got my Apple Watch back on. I do have some errands to run today, so I can't be under the dryer all day. Okay. Okay. So I will see you when I get back from under the dryer. I just wanted to take a moment and show you all how uh, it's been about 30 minutes under the dryer. So I take my hair and I do it like this to kind of, you see, make it room for more, more air to flow in there. And now I'm gonna get back under the dryer for 30 more minutes. Hey, welcome to day two hair. These smaller sections are where it's at, y'all. Okay, we got movement, we've got lots of definition. I slept in a hair buff. You know, you pull it down around, I, I, I don't know what you do. Pull it down around my neck, then I just pull it up, and then I take a ponytail holder like this, and then I like ponytail holder up the, the open part, and go to sleep. So my hair has sheen 
product sheen. I was thinking about, I've been thinking about where that whole shiny hair equals healthy hair thing. I know y'all know y'all seen the shampoo commercial of a certain uh, brand where their model is hair so healthy it shines, right? So that can be ingrained that uh, shiny hair equals healthy hair or greasy hair, whatever. Shiny looking hair. But I've got to say that even with my limited ventures outside, you know, grocery store, maybe pick up food, food delivery, I've um, gotten more compliments on my hair this year, you know, since improving in my technique. Like yesterday, I went out and picked up a sushi at a restaurant and across the board, all ages, cultures, you know, complimenting me on my hair and I find it so interesting that when I tell when I say you know thank you and then so did you braid it to get it like that this is how the conversations have been going oh no it's a wash and go really like that well it's beautiful just just like that like you did it yourself it's a wash and go you didn't have to braid to get like that you just did it yeah all those things so that made me feel good yesterday Cause you know you put in all the work and i like how it looks but it's always nice when other people appreciate what you put out you know what you put out there so i yeah get you a close closer up look and if you can see me in person like it's so interesting how my hair I, it's like of course your hair is 3d but the curls just look so much more 3d the way they're encased in gel and it's exciting because um I'm just uh, styling. This is the way my hair naturally curls, right? So that's even more exciting because people compliment, right? And hubby think I'm cute too. You know, that's like number one, right? He thinks you're cute. And then maybe like close family and friends, maybe. But then strangers who don't even know you, if they take a moment to, to say something, you know, that's that's always nice too. But, you know, you should look, look nice for yourself first. I was telling my mom that the other day. I was like, you don't dress up just the way you walk past the mirror, even if you don't go anywhere, that you like the way you look. Right? Then, you know, other people. Right? So, keep progressing. Keep um, cleansing, conditioning, and styling. Keep being patient with your hair right uh when i i think when i do hit like officially a year, i gotta find some pictures because i really want to do some side by sides about where i started and where i am and where i'm gonna continue to go because even though i got my hair cut she's still she's still doing pretty pretty good now mind you my hair when i got it cut when i straightened it it was probably more like down here so it'll, it'll get there. It's growing. Mm -hmm. And so is your hair. Your hair is growing. Let's be patient with our hair. Let's um, appreciate the rate at which our individual hair grows. Let's retain the length that we are growing. And let's keep applying simple, healthy hair practices so the hair that is growing can be as healthy as possible so your styles can come out as awesome as they can for your hair. Okay? So I will definitely see you on day three. I I do plan to go work out today. Don't, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm enjoying that. I, I did the shake at home. I'm doing the shake on myself at home now, right? I thought that was just a salon thing, but I'm, I can do it. I'm excited. Um, I do plan to work out today, you know, 30 minutes, light cardio. And I will go, I do have some things to do outside of my home today. But uh, we'll see how my hair turns out on day two, possibly after I work. I might go just do it right now before I get into something else. And then it's the end of the day. Because if I work out late, right, it's hard for me to go to sleep. I got to work out earlier in the day. It's just me. Yeah. It's like my muscles are like active. Like, you know, you woke us up and now you're going to sleep. Yeah. So I'm, I just, let me go ahead and get that get that done so i can actually sleep well tonight see you on day three y'all thanks for hanging out with me hey y'all welcome to day three hair
So after pretty much a year applying simple hair care, hair care techniques, I can confidently say that for Nicole's hair, Abigail, that's her name, what we like best, because we're a team, me and Abigail, is all-purpose shampoo and conditioner. Detangle, you know, face gel, two topper gels, and anti-humidity, anti-frizz to get our best set. And then small sections, take our time to rake and smooth in about an hour and a half under the hooded hair dryer and then sleeping in a hair buff. I did work out yesterday. I plan to work out today. And as you can see, my set is setting. So <laughs> this is my, my best set. And that's what I, I figured out in this year, right? That that's, that's what I need to do for my best wash and go set. And I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got movement, right? We have sheen, we have definition. I got another compliment yesterday. I went to pick up a, get something to eat and the cashier complimented me on my hair. And so two days in a row of compliments. So yay. So that's my day three hair. I do intend to, I told you I'm trying to do like 35 minutes a day of movement. I do tend to exercise later today. And yeah, we'll see how this hair does exercising but I'm excited that I finally figured out my routine what works best for my hair after a year right so give yourself some time to figure out figure it out within the bounds of the simple hair care because you've seen if you've been with me I haven't um I haven't been doing a lot of crazy things I might you know this week try this shampoo and conditioner try this combo of you know these small amount of products leave out this topper add it you know so yeah Keep working with it. Be patient with your hair and enjoy your hair journey. I'll see you on day four. Yeah, I'll see. You. Oh, my lipstick is Perla by Stella Cosmetics. Only thing I have on by the lip bar today is the, the palette, the cheeks, and the highlight. Fenty Beauty Foundation, you know, Anastasia Dip Brows for my eyebrows, Revlon to my eyeliner. And then my lip balm, my lavender sage, which is my favorite right now. It don't have a label on it because it's mine, but it is from Lavish Cocoa. And um, yeah, that's me today. See you tomorrow. Hi, welcome happily to day four hair. My hair is hairy. Frizz is still setting in in this section, but as you can see, there's still plenty of definition and shape. You can see my hair is growing, starting to what I call grow out of my haircut. Um, I had scheduled, I had mentioned before that I was going to get my hair less than two weeks when I'm scheduled to get my maintenance cut. But the way this Omnicron is set up, uh, I've made it through this whole pandemic to date without contracting COVID. Let me start with that. And I don't intend to break that record, that um, routine, right? So I'm going to push my maintenance visit back a couple of weeks while I'm watching how these numbers are going and then go from there as far as when I'll get my next maintenance cut because you know safety first i'll just cleanse condition and style and take care of my hair the best way i can until i feel comfortable at a lint going um to get my maintenance cut <laughs> but in the meanwhile are we glad you know that abigail's found her thing and it's working and if anything that'll give me more my hair will have more time to grow until I get my maintenance cut. Yeah. I'll show you back. This is day four hair. 
so y'all have seen me that's just y'all know how mop top does so that's just a little bit of mop topation but um you've seen me omit products you know add them back in and i've come to realize that for me where i live in this climate and the essential elements of my hair and how i at home do my hair every week base gel two gels on top of that and then the anti-humidity anti-frizz is my best set with other factors right because when i first started this journey if i would put all that stuff in my hair all those different things in my hair it would have been a probably like a gummy not elongated mess but since my hair is hydrated since my technique has improved then i'm able to responsibly and accurately use uh the product combination that i use and get the best results consistently with my hair so yay for progress yay for y'all's progress continue to keep up the good work continue to compare yourself to yourself to focus on how what you have improved in on your hair journey as you just give your hair the time to improve in other aspects like your hair is only going to grow so much but in the meantime can you get better at raking and smoothing can you get better at shampooing conditioning detangling right um, styling you can improve in those um, areas while your hair grows the same amount it's supposed to the same amount is gonna grow so then as your hair does get longer then you can take the best care of your hair so that's all thanks for hanging with me have a great day see you on day five hey welcome to day five hair this hair is just slightly damp from a workout so that's is it two or three workouts i think i've two maybe three workouts i've done on this set and she's still setting okay so just tell her to keep up the great work because she's looking like she's on track to definitely easily make it today seven or eight which is where i like her to be so i'll see you on day six Hello, beautiful people. Hello. Look, look at this day six hair. Let me tell you something. As y'all go through this like process with simple hair care, and when you get to the point where like you figure out exactly what works for your hair to like get that best set every week that's gonna last. I worked out this morning, so this is my third workout on this hair, and I've taken a shower. This isn't my workout hoodie, right? This is my, I'm gonna make some soap and bath and body products hoodie, all right? Which I am today. <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I inhaled some saliva. I'm okay. But I'm so happy that I've reached this uh, point and my hair care progress. So yeah, I know what to do every week. And that's pretty awesome. So I will definitely see you on day seven. I will definitely continue to cleanse my hair with shampoo, condition with conditioner, detangle and style. Um, a reminder too, right, that products alone won't get your hair to look like this, right? There's some factors involved your essential elements of your hair can be completely different from mine your technique could not have developed as mine has you may not be good at doing your own hair right i've been doing my own hair since i was like 10. that's as far back as i can remember and i mean doing my own hair like playing at starting to install braids in my hair at that young of an age. I remember watching my grandmother braid my cousin's hair because my cousin has long, like wavy hair and watching her 
French braid my cousin's hair one day and then going home and practicing on my um, baby doll that I had. So even from a very young age, yeah, watching and then say, oh, can I do that? And so, yeah, I've been developing my hair doing muscles for a while. So all that into consideration to say that Thank you for appreciating my progress on my hair journey, but if you feel like you're not progressing the same or as fast as you think I am, that's okay. Do the best you can do in your circumstances, right? It's okay because as long as you're consistent, you are improving. Um, take pictures, right, um, of your hair. And not as often as I do, right? I've been on this platform for decided to do this for you all to document my journey so I do take pictures of my hair like every day but even as you've seen on my Instagram periodically I'll post uh you know where I started versus where I am and you can see the difference in me just applying and doing and improving in the same uh, things every week and how my results have improved as my hair has gotten more hydrated as my understanding of the cleansing conditioning and the and styling um, process has improved as I continue to um, avail myself of education from professionals who specialize in tight curly hair right all those things have contributed to how fast I've been able to progress. If you think it's fast, you might think it's slow. You might have, you know, like that. And that's fine too. So just keep all of that in mind that if you weren't doing all those things or if your circumstances didn't allow you to, you know, go full on into it, then just um, appreciate your hair what with what it's doing. Yeah. So I still have some work to do, right? Growing this part out, but I'm sure y'all can see, I can see it how much my hair has uh, grown out since my first maintenance cut, how it's not necessarily getting longer uh, through around here, but it's definitely getting fuller because my hair is growing out more even, more healthier. So yeah, see your hair, uh, learning to see our hair differently and have reasonable goals and just being patient with ourselves as we slowly reach those goals. So that's your encouragement for today. Thank you so much for watching and for being on this journey with me. And I will definitely see you on day seven. Have a great day. Yay. Hello everyone. We've made it to day seven here. Uh, triggers for, or indicators, right? that I need to reset my hair. Too much frizz, as you can see. She looking, she did really pretty good this time, but you can't tell it as much as you used to. See all that? It's just a fro, all frizz. That, that's the mop, that's the mop top, right? That's why you have to use it with care. Cause if you don't, you'll be looking like this on day one. Mm -hmm. So I already know that it's not. So we got good definition. Still got decent shape. Scalp's a little itchy. Plus, I've worked out three times on this set, right? Sweated. Uh, it's not hot outside, right? But it is humid. You know, I like to check the humidity. Humidity, say. Sorry for my sniffles, y'all. It went back from being, you know, 70-something to being 30-something. I'm sure the plants are confused. My allergies are like, what season is it? I'm just going to act up because I don't know what's going on. So it's only 30% humidity today. Okay, that's pretty low for here. Y'all know on the other days it was 90%, but I'm still gonna set my hair, you know, strong. Yep, so thanks for watching. My hair is growing, right? Your hair grows anyway, we just try to retain the length. Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting with what you liked about the video or with how the video maybe has helped you in your own hair journey. I hope it's helping you to have a more positive view of your hair journey. Um, thanks for your patience with me as I document my hair journey and seeing the progress and we'll be seeing even more progress as the months and years, years go by, right? I'm only... It's been almost a year since I started the 30 day hair detox, but only about six months, six, seven months since I got my first haircut, six months with my tight curl specialist. 
So I will probably do like a video one year with her, the hair detox, right? But also one year from partnering with the tight curl specialist because it was like two different anniversaries. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video, the next wash hour. I'm still waiting for Trepidora to restock, right? Papaya slip and also bamboo ginseng. Y'all been asking me about that. I don't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about it. Let me say that. But I've learned a little bit more. So I might give that a visit. Stay tuned, but not next video, right? Because they sold out of it, so I can't get it unless y'all send me some, okay? So, <laughs> but I'll definitely see you on the next video of the next wash hour. Have a great day.